Redfish Dad. Um, like I said, it's Halloween, October. Starting on these Halloween crafts and stuff. Um, haven't gotten to the skeleton yet, still trying to design it. Um, kind of did a couple of sketch-ups and it's just, it's not coming together like I thought it would in the head. So, skeleton to come. Um, what I'm going to do now though is when I, we went into HEB uh, to go shopping, uh, they had these little metal art um, pumpkin slash spiders. And uh, they were all made already. They had the sheet metal pumpkin and all of that. But I thought, wow, that'd be cool to put your, you know, your pumpkin into. And um, sure enough, you Google it, and they're all over out there. People made them from rebar, PVC, um, whatever. There's lots of different designs out there. Um, I have a bunch of, uh, well, a bunch. I have one stick of the quarter inch rod left over from the uh, grill a campfire cook set that we made the, the pokers out of. And so I'm going to use that. It's not quite enough because um, I was figuring up on here. Uh, this is my, my cheat sheet. Um, and I wanted to go, we have a bowl that we use can for candy every year. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put a pumpkin in it or the candy bowl in it. Uh, you could also make these really small if you wanted to and use them for those little um, decorations for your party or something, you know, and put like little pumpkin gourds in them. Um, just, just go online and figure out what the circumference is um, of ever how big of a circle you want. So I wanted a, it's, it's about a 10 inch um, bowl and I figured that's a pretty good sized pumpkin too so we could put that in there and should be fine so I figured it up and it's roughly going to be 30 inch circumference um, then what I did was look up black widows and they're about a 1 to 3 so everything should be cut the same right because it's going to be about a 10 inch circle and then the legs need to be 30 inches approximately so I'm going to cut 9 pieces um, one for the body and then eight legs, nine pieces at 30 inches. So I'm gonna need a little bit more. I'll probably have to go to Tractor Supply because it's the only thing open today and uh, pick up a 48 inch or 36 inch piece, which, you know, still is only a couple dollars, but you could get 20 foot for the same thing. That's, that's only like $2.60 at the steel yard for the uh, 20 foot section. So, um, but that's fine. Uh, you know, for a little craft, who cares? You know, $2 for a craft, that's pretty good. Um, what else? Oh, the other thing was is if I have some left over, um, there was a few designs where they put a little head, a little face on the front. Um, I'll probably do that if I have some left over from whatever size tractor supply has. If not, what I was thinking is I may just cut a little circle out of our scrap over there. We have some scrap sheet metal and stuff. And um, I could just cut a little flat flat plate and put that as the, the head and maybe put some pinchers or something on it um, and do something like that. So that's probably what I'll do. So, but yeah, nine pieces at 30 inches or figure out your own circumference and how long, you know, 30, if you need 30 inches or if you need 10 inches, then cut, you know, nine pieces at 10 inches. All right. perfect but I'll get him tacked up and welded right there and then I can you know do that same thing and just tap on him and get him around um, I may just leave it um, it's actually pretty close I'll probably just once I get this welded I'll make this one this one's a little needs a little bit more rounded but other than that you know it is just going to be a little plated thing to hold a bowl or a pumpkin so it doesn't have to be perfectly round just good enough for your pole to fit in there so all right we'll see how that goes Okay, I can grind that down, but I gotta practice. So these cool little projects that don't matter, perfect thing for me. All right, that looks pretty round. That's gonna be good right there. Okay, so I forgot to hit record, but there they are. All I did was. The mark I put on there, put it right here, 
And like I said, I just put it just a little bit past the end and bent it around till it touched the edge right there. And that was about right. And they're all roughly the same, you know, not quite. Um, 30 inches was too long. Um, what I'll end up doing is just cutting this off somewhere around right here to be the welded part. And that way it'll be up off the ground or off the table or whatever you're going to do. So I'm just going to cut that there and that should look about right. And um, do it that way. Okay, so I didn't have to go to Tractor Supply since I changed the length, right? Um, I had already cut them though, so that was a shame. But um, I just, you know, welded them together. That's ugly, but I'll grind it down right before I paint it. And um, made me one more leg. So now I have my nine pieces that I needed. And I really needed that today. Why? No, I just needed that relaxation. What did you do? Cut? No. I just moved hay. All the things. Close your eyes. Go ahead. That thing spattered all the way by my foot. Yeah, spattered bad. Got the um, head on. I just uh, since I cut these too long, remember I snipped off some, and so I just took two pieces and welded them together and made a little circle for him. So it looks pretty cool. Um, my wife thought it was kind of cute, but she she wanted some eyes on it. So I said, okay, I'll just use two washers. So I'm just gonna put these two eyes on here somewhere. Sorry about that, forgot to readjust the camera, um, but that's okay because it really sucked. I went all the way through, got a knob there, eh, anyway, but I, that's what a grinder's for. Actually, no, it's not. You're supposed to be really good at welding and not have to grind, but hey, um, it's a spider. So, there we go. Let's see what it looks like. Grind off a couple of the globs and then paint him, and that's it. Well, there's the spider all finished with a prop pumpkin in it um, just need to carve him out um, we actually bought two so I'll probably let him carve that one because I kind of like the way that looks with just the pumpkin kind of makes it look like a body um, having more eyes and a mouth might kind of offset so anyway but that's what we're gonna do uh, leave him like that put him on the porch um, we're actually gonna do some trunk or treat at the church so you basically pull up and kind of decorate your parking spot and your trunk and then the kids come around and trick-or-treat in the parking lot so we'll probably take some of this stuff out there as, as decoration. Um, but anyway, this guy's a pretty good-sized pumpkin. I don't know. Here's, here's my foot, you know, up next to it down there, about the same. So, you know, good 10-inch pumpkin or so. The circle was 10-inch diameter, so um, that'll give you a size of it. But you can adjust this to be, you know, small little table size for a gourd. Um, you could even put a little bitty gourd in here for the head. Um, would make it look kind of cool. Uh, I might do that. I'm going to go get me one. Um, anyway, I've got the little fangs and eyes and everything else, so just uh, adjust it to your size and liking and um, be good to go. 
Make sure you check out the skeleton and the um, candy corn jack-o'-lantern projects too from the pickets. And um, we also got some um, 4th of July flags or, you know, Memorial Day or whatever. Uh, I might get a head start on those. But thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.